do we have a drop for this? The first time we've ever played this on the Rich Eisen Show. Celebrity, Maybe. true or false. I love it. So we, got, we have production value we're adding I to love this, it. Lawrence Fishburne. Cool. Uh, is it true? Did you really save Emilio Estevez from quicksand on the set of Apocalypse? Oh, Night? yeah. Yeah. That's a true story. What was that? What, what, what happened? It was just, you know, we were in this boat and, you know, he kind of went in the water and he was not gonna get out by himself just on the because he's the son of martin sheen he was just on the set well he was there because martin brought his entire family to be with him while we were making the movie and Mm -hmm. emilio and i are exactly the same age and so he was the only person my age that was around so here we are these two 15 year olds and we take this boat out and we're gonna do our thing and he gets in the water and suddenly he can't get out and so so you saved him so it was water or quicksand it was like if it, it, it looked like water to me, it might have been quicksand to him. I, I mean, I couldn't see it. I just knew that he needed help. Was Charlie Sheen on the set? Too? Yeah, Charlie was around. Yeah, is that where he picked up some uh, some? Well, it's where Charlie picked up some of his um, Peca- his sort of uh, obsession with all things Vietnam. Okay. Yeah. Well, and of course he was in Platoon. And then later he on did in Platoon. His, yeah. In his, oh, yeah. It's amazing. Uh, are you true or false? You're a former roommate of uh, Giancarlo Esposito, who has yes. been on the show. Yes, I am. What was Giancarlo and I uh, were very, very close for a long, long time in our twenties in New York. Um, coming out of New York City, you know, um, being African American guys who had these funny last names. <laughs> <laughs> right. right. Um, and uh, we often went up for a lot of the same parts, and then we wound up being cast as the leads in Spike Lee's first feature picture, which is called School Days. Right. Yeah. Yeah, we had him on the show, and he's... He's incredible. We loved him. He's incredible. John Carlos is incredible. We loved him. Yeah. Just, and obviously, Breaking Bad is one of our favorite yeah, shows yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, um, You True or false, Lawrence Fishburne, you met Boys in the Hood director John Singleton on the set of Pee Wee's Playhouse. I did. I did indeed, yeah. What's the circumstances with uh, that? He was working as a production assistant. I was doing my role as Cowboy Curtis, and, you know, here he was. He was this young, very enthusiastic guy who was, you know, just graduated from SC. He was trying to be a filmmaker. He was writing and, you know, wanted me to tell him stories about working with Spike Lee because mm-hmm. um, I had just done the picture I just mentioned, School Days. And, uh, yeah, we just we struck up a conversation, and he said, I have this thing I'm going to send you, you know, and it's really great and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay, well, when we're done, you know, send it to me. And a couple of years after we did uh, Pee Wee's Playhouse, he sent me a script, which was Boys in the Hood. Unbelievable. Yeah. How you meet people in yeah. this business, right? Yeah. And uh, I'm going to add an extra true or false. Is it true or false that the first Spike Lee joint, if you will, that you did is you were in the video White Lines? That's correct. Yes. That is true also. That is true also. Yeah. How did you wind up in the Grandmaster Flash? Uh, uh, I had great. met Spike, and, uh, you know, he had wanted to work with me, so he said, I'm doing this video, and will you come do it? And I was like, deal some drugs? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> the Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern, on Audience.